Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for the second part of PC Building Simulator. Unfortunately, I didn't get quite as far as I wanted in the career mode. So what we're going to do today is build our perfect computer in sandbox mode. We're going to try to get really good parts, make it look cool. Uh, of course, also water cool it. That is a necessity. Then we're going to try to overclock everything, including the RAM, the CPU and the graphics card. And we shall see what kind of results we get from it. I played this game enough in order to support the developers a little bit more, so I unlocked the workshops here. We are working in the Republic of Gamers workshop, so I think today I'm just gonna go to the Razer workshop. Alright, here we go, here we are. It is a little bit green, I have to admit. There we go, there's the timetable. And here is probably where we're gonna start building our PC. Uh, of course, this is free build. We don't even need a computer to order the parts. All we can do is probably check our inventory and we have everything at our disposal. Now, I'm not going to rebuild my own computer. I want to build a much, much better computer. Oh, yes. Wow, this is incredible. There are so many cases and also crazy cases. What is that? Holy Moses, I've never seen that. That doesn't look practical at all. On the other side, it would be amazing to do something unconventional. Oh no, actually it was one of those. The thermal techs. I love it. Okay, so I can now start building my dream computer. Oh, this is going to be great. And we're going to do an awesome water cooling loop. Well, let's get this removed first of all. Ooh, okay. It looks like we're going to have our graphics card facing this way. We're going to have two graphics cards, of course, a liquid cooled. There's a spot for a liquid reservoir right there. I wonder if I could fit two reservoirs. That's probably not necessary. Are we going to go with Intel or AMD? I'm kind of tempted to go with AMD. It's probably what I'm going to use for my next computer. I've always been Intel, just for convenience. I personally have some alpha cool stuff in my computer. I think we're just going to go with the biggest reservoir here. Yeah, that's probably going to be fine. Hmm. This is amazing. Clear, rigid pipes. Uh, we have all the fittings, the connectors, and even various types of coolant. We could do with UV lights. <sighs> okay, let's decide for the processor. 16 cores is probably more than enough. However, there's one with 32 cores. You know what? Let's build a, a very cheap and easy computer right here in order to be able to check out the parts list a little bit better. I want to know what's the best in terms of ranking. Wow, lots of display stuff going on here. All right, there we go. Finally, the Intel Core 9980XE seems to be the best. And then the Threadripper 2990WX. I'm still tempted to go with AMD, even though it's not quite at the top. Let's do that. Ah, okay, there it is. 2990WX with 32 cores. This has no order whatsoever. This free play is really confusing. The socket is a TR4, so let's find that with the motherboards. Man, I wish... <laughs> Jesus. Do I now have to search every motherboard? Uh, there is a TR4, respectable RAM speed, it looks quite nice. Crossfire and SLI, looks intriguing indeed. This is really not convenient if you can't sort these according to certain specs, but maybe we're just gonna go for that. It looks like it has some RGB lighting as well. Well, this guy also. I guess it doesn't really matter. I like the max RAM speed, I think we're gonna go with that. It's also not a too big motherboard. Yeah, it's not even the most expensive motherboard, but look at that ginormous socket. This is incredible. Oh, holy Moses. Okay, let's go with the CPU guy. 32 cores. Hmm. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be absolutely insane. All right, then in terms of graphics cards, we want also the best of the best, and we want two of them. Uh, where's my computer? Right there. Okay, up there. We have the... GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Extreme 11 gigabytes. <gasps> Will we be able to fit one of those? 2080. Hopefully they already have the water cooling for those. Yeah, there we go. RTX 2080 Ti. It is water cooled. I wonder if we have to grab the graphics card or if that is the graphics card with the water cooled stuff attached. Yeah, it kind of looks completed. I was hoping to have to modify the graphics cards. Woo! What is that? That looks much better. Extreme Water Force. Yeah, 
we're gonna we're gonna go with that that's for sure now let's see we have to remove these guys and we'll also remove the first graphics card so we can put in the nicer looking one right here you go there oh yes this looks looks way better and it's actually hooking up automatically there good scroll down we want another one of you Next up, I want a couple of radiators. I want a really large radiator. Let's see something that also looks nice. Maybe with some RGB. Let's try the rain tech here. And we need to free... Oh, hold on. We need to remove this backplate there. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried at the moment that I cannot put two radiators on this thing. I mean, where could I fit the second radiator or do I have to go with like two small ones like I want to fill up this entire row with radiators what if we just took a small one then we could probably fit two no it doesn't fit a second one that is really disappointing okay so we have to work with one single radiator the thermal tech case I had a look at I was able to place two but alas I guess you can't have everything so we're gonna fit one of you and it's gonna be at the bottom. Wow, we actually have eight RAM slots. This is insane. Why would you need eight RAM slots? Whoa, these have a frequency of 4,600? I had no idea this is possible. Those are really good RAM sticks. Okay, for the time being, we're gonna go with the dominators here, 3,600. And now, should we just fill that up? I mean... Is there a reason not to fill up every RAM slot? Oh, actually, they do have some RGB here. We should probably go with that. Black or white? Let's do white with RGB. There we go. Eight sticks of eight gigabytes each. Uh, let's actually check out storage. Uh, we want SSDs or M.2. They have M.2 drives. I'm so glad. This is amazing. So we're gonna go with a respectable M.2 drive with a terabyte. I really like that. Oh, transfer speed here is actually considerably slow, I have to admit. Okay, it's the brand actually that is slow. Maybe we're just gonna go with the highest here. Yeah, they have a pretty good transfer rate. I'm taking that. Now, uh, where do you fit? Oh, actually right there. I'm glad I don't have to take anything apart because that's usually what you have to do. Right, we have our M.2 drive. We're also gonna have another storage, this time an SSD with uh, hopefully tons of gigabytes. Yeah, looks like around a terabyte is the biggest I can find thus far. And I also would like to have another drive after that. But where do we fit that? Can we only fit it here? Uh, no, okay, we can fit it here in the back as well. That's good because in the front we need space for a large HDD. Let's do four terabytes. That's gonna go right there. Yes, I like it. Okay, we're still missing the power supply. Power supply, I myself have a 1200 power supply, which is way too exaggerated, but it can't hurt to be prepared. That's 1300 watts. I'm taking it. I really would love to work in an open case like this in the future with my own computers. But yeah, I'm not so sure about the water cooling stuff anymore. It did give me a couple of issues. I'm not sure it's worth for the performance gain. Now there's a slight issue. What could we place here? Is there something we could do? Or maybe once we add the parts again, it might look a little bit better. Uh, not really. Oh, there are even duo cables, like various colors that you can choose. But I would like to go with the with blue. I think blue is just my overall favorite. Okay, so let's just start hooking everything up. This is, of course, this is the pump. So this goes to your CPU fan. Maybe we should have hooked up the cables the last. Maybe we should have done the water cooling loop first. But let's just try to hook everything up and see how it turns out. Anyways, we're missing pipes. Let's see how that goes. That's actually the first time I'm doing this. I'm a fan of clear pipes, but I'm willing to do something. Let's start with clear pipes here. Okay, so the water will be coming in here. Then it's going up the tube. It's going to be spilled out here on the sides. Then it can continue with the loop right there. So this is where we start. We want to bring this all the way to the first graphics card. Now, I'm not sure how I can influence the bends and everything. Uh, wait, you need to go here, okay? 
Ah, uh, okay, looks like we can actually... Wow, I love this. Oh, isn't that just phenomenal? Okay, so this is more or less straight. Well, I guess we have to bring it out just a tad, something like that. I could even add more bends. Okay, so this is so nice, I love it. It's a little bit easier than in real life. So it goes in through the graphics card and then comes out the other side. And I guess we can just go straight into here, goes through the graphics card and then it will come out the other side again. So that means finally we're gonna need a CPU block. Let's see, which one do we like? Probably something that is at least a little bit transparent. I mean, I do like to see my liquids, right? Okay, I think this is actually gonna work. It goes through the graphics card, then comes out here again. We go inside of there. Now, let me make this a little bit nicer. Maybe actually we could come out of this position. Can I undo that? Yeah, if we came out here, I might be able to make this more elegant. Yeah, okay, that's actually not too shabby at all. It, it kind of works out for me. We're gonna accept that. And then the next thing we need to do is go into the radiator. So if you got confused, we're going from the reservoir through both of the graphics card, through the CPU and then through the radiator to cool down the liquid. So everything else is heating up the liquid and then the radiator is gonna cool it down again. So if we came from this, came into the radiator. Hmm. Oh man, I'm not so sure about that. Also, look what we have to do here in terms of connectors in order to make this work. I really, really don't like that, but we will have to do something crazy here anyway, so... But technically this should now work. It's going from the reservoir through the graphics card, through the CPU, through the radiator back into the reservoir. So all we have to do is fill up this loop. We're gonna do blue clear UV coolant, I like that. And fill up this reservoir. Or wait, ah, okay, there we go, it's actually happening. Okay, the loop is being filled up, it's going through the graphics card, hopefully, but there we go, it's been going through the CPU, and then through the radiator. Great, back into the reservoir, yes. I mean, it, it might work, let's power on the computer, no, ah, of course, there we go, oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. Water-cooled computer. We probably also need to install an OS. We're also gonna install all of these programs, OCCT, CPU Tuner, and 3D Mark Advanced. Wow, did you see that? Look at how quickly we are installing the programs. <gasps> oh, I love it. Well, let's do a 3D Mark a test just like that. We get 37-ish FPS in the beginning. Currently we have some rainbow lighting going on and stuff. Uh, let me see, maybe we can uh, complete the case now. It's just the glass from actually. The computer has a retail value of $8,190. That's definitely more expensive than my own computer. And hopefully also more expensive than yours. Wow, I've never been going through this hallway this quickly. Jeez. I think at this point it already stopped. Yeah, I never got to witness this part thus far. Mm, it's gonna be a great score and even better after overclocking, I hope. Wait, what? 6,850... Ah, did I buy a really bad... Uh, I think I bought one for a workstation, the CPU. I mean, we, we got this guy here, 32 cores. What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't see why this is so bad. Let me try to heat up the CPU a little bit. Um, ah, we have a cooling issue. Okay, so that is the problem. We are throttling our CPU because we are not cooling it uh, efficiently enough. I mean, what else do you want? I don't even have the space for radiators anymore, do I? Let me test that, maybe I do. No, I definitely don't have the space for another radiator. So this is the best I can do. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure. I don't really get it. The only thing I could think of is that maybe we missed the thermal paste, but I'm pretty sure I applied it. Let me try to remove it still. There, get rid of you, you, and you. And we just apply some more thermal paste. I mean, it's a new mistake. I'm pretty sure I did it. Thermal paste, all right. That's uh, what we wanted. Then CPU cooling, uh, custom water cooling parts. We're gonna try this guy. Uh, this time, right there. And then we hook it up again. 
With the new thermal paste in place, we are still overheating this guy like crazy. We're gonna try something with 16 cores instead of 32, just to make sure that is not the issue. Maybe we need a way better cooling solution for an insane core like this. Uh, stop, stop, stop going, what, what? Okay, 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 we're not overheating this time, that's good. So initially in 3D Mark, we are actually a little bit slower in terms of FPS. However, as soon as these guys had turned on, we were much faster. I think we went down to 15 FPS because the CPU was throttling. So this result should be much better. And then maybe afterwards we can uh, start to overclock just slightly. I'm not going to do the extreme overclock, but I still do want to get a better result. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Let's actually see if those performed the way they should have. 18,000 is not a bad result. So that's around 9,500 for the CPU. Yeah, the Threadripper 2950X. I just want a new... Uh, let me see, Threadripper 2950X. So it did approximately perform the way it was supposed to. That's the CPU score times 3. Yeah, approximately. Maybe we could have done a little bit better. Well, we're gonna do better because now we are gonna overclock a little bit. Let's do the cheap. Uh, let's do the CPU first, I think. We're gonna go into the BIOS. Having a look at the BIOS, Gigabyte is anyways my favorite BIOS, I think. Um, let's do RAM overclocking a little bit. Uh, how high do we want to bring this? Though it should be like 3600, shouldn't it? By the way, just once again, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I just want to make my computer faster. So we're going to attempt a few things. 4.6 gigahertz, that's probably a good point to start, though. <laughs> is it really? I have no idea. Let's do apply changes and restart. Just see whether or not we can start at all. It's actually not looking that bad. Let's do the testing for the over... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, that was pretty clear. We need to take this less aggressively. I'm going to do a factory reset. And we're going to do one after another. So the idle temperature is now 95 degrees. Okay, that, that's not working. Wow, this is insane. I just did a small overclock now and we are already at 50 degrees idle temperature. Actually, maybe one thing we could do is use the XMP so we can go up to the actual megahertz we have available. That is for the RAM. Okay, putting the RAM to the maximum did not have an influence on the temperatures. That's good. This is what concerns me. 50 is just too much as an idle temperature. And I just overclocked it slightly. So what I'm going to try now is replace the CPU. Sometimes you have a bad CPU. This also happens in this game. You can lose the silicon lottery. Okay, I think I'm giving up on this CPU. No matter how little I overclock it. Even if I take... Well, maybe we can take more power away from it. Not sure if that is a good idea, but what if we went down to 1.25 voltage, so we don't uh, quite heat up as much. Nope, idle temperature is still quite high. Ah, this is unfortunate. Yeah, and this probably wasn't enough power. And we got a blue screen. So maybe for this build, we're just gonna overclock the RAM and the GPU for the time being. And then I need to figure out what I did wrong, so we can do a better job the next time we are trying to overclock. GPU tuner. Let's try to tune the GPU. I'm gonna try a core clock of 2000 and then a memory clock of 2000... I don't even know. 100. Yeah, I'm really sorry guys, but I will have to learn this a little bit. Let's apply these settings. Um, hit up OCCT, turn it on and check the CPU temperature. Now the idle temperature was already pretty high at 60 degrees. And uh, now, of course, we blue screened again. There. I think this is a better temperature. We now have a uh, core clock of 1,800 and... Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, oh, okay. We are actually stable here with this. I put up the core voltage again. 1,800 to 2,000. And we still have a couple of degrees left to go. So what if we put this to 1,900? Let's try that. Uh, ooh. Okay, so now idle is a 50 again. That's not good. Shooting up. 80, 90. Ooh, okay, I think... Do we have some throttling going on here in this case? Uh, okay, the, the power draw is going up. That might not be too shabby, actually. Hmm. Let me try another 3D mark with these settings. I really wonder. 
We had a graphic score of like 21,000 before. Uh, this is the best part. This is usually... I only get to see this uh, really slowly. Not that I'm always watching, but you know. If it goes as quick as now, I love watching. No! We were just at the end there. Ah. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. After a while, we are just drawing too much power. Uh, what you don't know, I exchanged the power module because, you know, I wanted to debug what, what problems we had before. But at 850, this is gonna shut off. So this is what happened. So all we have to do to make this work again is replace the PSU. Right there. I also decided to make this a red versus blue build. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this. Graphic score went up by almost... 4,000, right? At least 3,000. It went up by 3,000. And the CPU, is that also a better score? I thought we had 9,000 or so. Yeah, 9,400 was the score before. So we did, uh, you know, a little bit of a successful overclocking here, I would say. This is not a bad test result. Uh, there's one more thing I would like to do, and that is install some proper lighting. I want to do red cables, all red lighting, and then just the liquid is going to be blue. All lights, please turn red. Apply. Let's see how that looks. Maybe we are going to do not static, but breathe. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's apply. Check this out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder, what if we did blue instead? How does that look? Apply that. Actually, that fits a little bit better because it's the loop that is blue. Okay, now we have the nicest computer I never owned for $8,000. <sighs> okay, I think we're gonna wrap it up at this point. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>